Project Search. Howdy! It's Danny again, and I'm going to be talking about tone of voice and all the things that can be expressed through tone of voice. The tone of your voice will say just as much, if not more, about what your intentions are, what you may be feeling, what you may be thinking, than the actual words themselves. So I'm going to demonstrate that in today's presentation. So here's what you will need to do. You're going to need to have a pencil or pen and some paper or something to write uh, your answers down on. You're going to write down what you're hearing in that tone for each time you hear the statement. So you'll have an answer for A and for B for all four of the statements. So I'll kind of explain that as it goes along. It's a little more complicated than what we've been doing recently uh, in, these, in these presentations, but you can do it. So you can pause the video, you can watch it more than once, as usual, and listen to the statements um, several times and think about what you're hearing in that tone of voice. Uh, going beyond just what the words themselves happen to be. All right. Understanding social cues in the workplace. Part three, voice tone. Interpreting tone of voice in the workplace. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Once again, tone of voice is an important form of nonverbal communication. So listen to each of the following statements. What does the tone of voice tell you about what is being said? Your challenge. For each example of tone of voice you hear, write down the corresponding emotion, attitude, or intention. When we get together to discuss this topic, you will share your answer with the group. First statement. So I'm going to read it twice. There'll be A and B, and you're going to write your, your answer, your thought, for each of them. All right, here we go. A, the customers are here. B, the customers are here. Okay, just want to remind you, you can go back and listen to them again. I'm going to go ahead and move on. Second statement. Here's A. You can have your snack in the break room. And B. You can have your snack in the break room. Okay. Statement three. A. Is there anything else I can do for you? And B, is there anything else I can do for you? Statement four, A, you got it done on time. B, you got it done on time. Okay, so let's think. You probably noticed that the words in all four examples were the same for both A and B. However, when you focus on tone of voice, you will notice that in each example, a distinct emotion, attitude, or intention is communicated. Here are some examples of the things tone of voice could indicate. So I have this list of things. Now this doesn't mean that if you don't see um, a word on here that you feel like best describes the tone of voice in any of those examples you heard, you can use something else. Here's just a list of things that can be expressed with voice tone that could be possible uh, matches with the examples you heard. So you have excitement that can be expressed through tone of voice, 
hey, let's go, right? Irritation, it's time to go, all right? Anxiety, oh gosh, it's almost time to go. Fear, it's time to go. Happiness, it's time to go. Disapproval, it's time to go. Fatigue, it's time to go. Satisfaction, it's time to go. Impatience, it's time to go. Anger, it's time to go. Disappointment, it's time to go. Surprise, it's time to go. Anyway, you get the idea. You have a lot of different options here. Again, you can go outside this list uh, and think of, you may think of some other word to describe what you hear in a tone of voice, which is just fine. Uh, the whole point here is that we're going to get together and discuss the answers you came up with and really get into talking about tone of voice and how to interpret it. And also, of course, how it affects your life at your workplace. And remember, you can watch the video more than once to make sure you're satisfied with your answers. Today's subject matter is probably more complicated than the previous things we've talked about this week. And it can be very difficult really to sometimes pick up on uh, the subtleties involved in tone of voice. The purpose of the exercise today that we just did was to get you thinking about tone and how really it's so much more about how something is said than the words that are said. I'm looking forward to discussing this with you guys.